Rest is important as work. It is important as healing. Some events or traumas from the past needs acknowledgement, time of reflection, acceptance, and the most important of all, release. And that's what I did last month. I have been repressing my traumas for 20 years. I thought I could handle it, but I was wrong. And I was ambitious, blinded with the future that I wanted. But I was so wrong. It manifested to all my bad decisions and actions throughout the years until I couldn't fake it anymore. I had no choice but to face it. So that's what I did. Just living life one day at a time. Just being mindful of the moments, moments that we take for granted. I focused on the things in front of me, the blessings, that in spite of what I have gone through, I am here, I am still here. Looking at this magnificent scenery gives me hope. All the beauty in front of me. Sometimes we take for granted these little things and we are more focused on what's wrong with our lives. Maybe we need time to pause and see things in different perspective. My channel is about the ups and downs of my life. It's just to share my truth. People like me who had gone through a lot, a lot of traumas in life, and just to give an awareness from the people in the Philippines back home of what is truly life abroad. Most of the vlogs in my channel shows my journey to awareness for a better mental, physical, and spiritual health. I'm not a guru of some sort, I'm just a regular person with something to share. Remember, it's okay to face the fear, the fear of facing your pain because it is the first step to healing. a family do a lot of earthing or grounding it's just like being in the sand on the water don't underestimate the power of sun my friends it is a fact that the countries with less sun like Canada have the most mental health institutions because of lack of sun the right amount of sun is good for mental health takes you away from depression this fact is actually from the book veronica decides to die by paulo coelho he is a brazilian author who sold millions and millions of books I've discovered these free audiobooks in YouTube and I love it so much in a sense that I just have to listen to it. I don't need to read it.
than reconnecting with old friends and a cup of coffee. I make sure that I do something for myself once a week. It's like filling my cup first before I can fill up other cups, that sort of thing. It's so difficult for moms like me sometimes to do this, but it is actually a necessity to avoid burnout. I seldom play with my kids, but through the years, I have found out that it's a must. We need to wait like 10 minutes. If I was born in a country with snow, I would have been a figure skater by now. This was the first time that I actually tried ice skating on an ice. guys it's a beautiful beautiful Wednesday morning and look what I got here they've not been coming for a couple of months now but for some reason today no one's feeding them so I'm going out and feed these hungry cockatoos oh my goodness I don't know what's happening these cockatoos are very, very hungry. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's these birds here. And there. So what I'm going to do is just give them a little bit of this bread that they can They usually go to my neighbor Andrew, but maybe he's not home at the moment, so they they come over here and ask for food. <laughs> what a beautiful afternoon. I'm happy they're here. <laughs> we usually feed these cockatoos with sunflower seeds, but we ran out of that, that that day they showed up. <laughs> Okay. Oh, of course. Okay. It's my beautifully fresh thing.
Yes, Maddie. You say hi. <laughs> Are you happy, Maddie? Are you excited to get ice cream? <laughs> Booty. Booty? <laughs> Good boy, thank you. <laughs>
doesn't align with who I am or who I want to be inside. So just what we all do for an unwanted friend in social media, I tell it, pain, I see you. I will feel you for a certain period of time. But I prefer moving on and say goodbye to you. Thank you for the lessons I learned. Unfriend. Tomorrow is a new day. Time to write a new chapter. Time to learn new lessons in life. <laughs>